Rangers. Welcome to the Season 5 Recap. What a season it's been. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm ready to say goodbye to summer. Welcome to the fall weather. And it was a great summer at EcoSY. We had 23 episodes, 12 of those were ideas, and 11 heroes. I just kind of want to walk people through some of them, because not everybody gets to listen to every episode, and there may be some things you missed. You know, we started off with my old buddy Jonathan Fuller. We were talking about power terminology. That's a world Jonathan lives in. does such a good job of explaining, you know, what that means, some of these words mean that we run across when we run into these plants. Because if you're new to industry, when somebody says an inverter, that, mean, that means different things to different people. Uh, then we could talk to Mr. Greg Paulson. He had a great story about how to extend your shop resources using a solution that they've built, Exometry. And Greg's got a, just a passionate guy from Virginia. We had a lot in common. Enjoyed me getting to meet him. Then we had Miss Ashley Wal- Walters, and she did a great job. She, she wrote a book called Leading with Grit and Grace. And if you haven't read that book yet, I highly encourage you to get out there, read it right now. It talks about the story of Onyx and what, they're, what they've done to put the power back into the employees and the, the, the transformation that she's made, been able to make in the organization and the culture is unbelievable. So, Ashley, thank you for, for coming on. Highly encourage those, the listeners to go check that out. Then we had Mr. Sandy DeSosa from Fix Software, and we were talking about CMMS systems and how many plants out there have a CMMS or could benefit from a CMMS. So it was a great conversation with Sandy. Got to really unpack and learn a lot about those types of solutions. Then we, we talked about safety and security from, a, from an OT network standpoint with Richie Fortenberry. And Richie, he had a demo that I'll always remember. It, it talked about how vulnerable control systems can be and he used the the uh, traffic light as a example there wonderful conversation with richie just a a phenomenal engineer doing great things Uh, then i had my buddy i've I've done a lot of work with graham staples in the past and been able to go in the field with him and actually see him in in action if you will and he was talking about smart microgrids love that technology that technology and that conversation because it really opened my eyes and i'm sure it opened your eyes too on what exists out there from a smart microgrid standpoint. You know, it's not just the industrials, it's hospitals and schools and just different areas that it has a really big impact. Wonderful stuff there. Then we had Mr. Chase Belkey back, you know, for EcoSY listeners, you know Chase. He was talking again about VFDs, you know, that's his passion. But he was really talking about how to select between a soft starter and a VFD. So good stuff there, good fundamental type information there. Then we had uh, Miri, and she was on phenomenal. She was on twice during the season. We had her talk about what is an MES system as well as her hero conversation. And the MES discussion is something we hadn't touched on at EcoSY. We we haven't really talked about MES. We've talked about different platforms from an ERP standpoint, but the MES system was a brand-new topic for us, and she brought so much wisdom and insight for the listeners on that. So go check that out. Check out her hero. Follow her on Instagram. I started following her. She she travels all over, does a great job of of showing some different cultures and things like that. She's just a a fun lady to to be connected with. So check her out. Go to her episodes. Find ways to get connected with her. And then probably two of my favorite episodes of all time, Mary Bruce Clemens. uh, Her hero and then her recent idea came out, and it was around steam. And I really hadn't put that together in my mind yet i've always heard of stem but the a would be in the art she painted that picture if you will around steam and the power of it cannot wait for that one to 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 get to so many people that's one i personally want to put in front of my two daughters my older my older daughters and let them hear that and understand the the opportunities that exist with that type of technology and, and that approach so good stuff there. And then we finalized our, our, our season of ideas with three great episodes from my buddy Mike Rathman. We were talking about, you know, what do you do when you need to change a motor to a VFD from a cross-line starter? Then he talked about motor reliability one-on-one, and that took me way back. Fun times there talking with Mike in the old motor reliability days. And then we, we wrapped up with uh, what is an intelligent motor relay. And you'll, you'll see a consistent theme with Mike, motor control. 
power distribution and motor control. That's where he lives. He is an expert in those areas. Has so much fun talking with Mike about that stuff. And we, 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 just, we know that brings a lot of value to the listeners. So they were the ideas. And then we had all these hero conversations as well. We had Dan Carnival. You guys remember Dan? He was the, the, the leader of the Eaton Power System Experience Center. What a great story. He's doing some wonderful things up there in Pennsylvania. We had Mike Casha, who used to work at Eco as a product manager, share his story. We had Ray Tharp, who was out there changing the game in the wood industry. If you remember that three-way conversation we had with Ray and Vadim, talking about the, you know, the things that are changing in the wood industry. So Ray was able to share his personal story. Jonathan Megan, what a powerful story. You know, from the plant manager to GE to the owner of Lake Erie Rubber. I mean, th- just that shift and, and the, to be able to, to take that leap of faith and for what he's putting back in his community right now, unbelievable, unbelievable. Then we had uh, an up-and-comer. We had Aiden Benkowski, who has worked for Generator, connecting entrepreneurs and just talking about the fun things he's doing. If you, if, if you listen to that one, just listen to his energy and how excited he is to be out there supporting manufacturing. Then I had my old buddy Vic Perangelo. Vic, he was, he was, he was on in a previous season talking uh, about wireless technology, but he shared his story, his, his love of aviation, uh, his love of technology, uh, wonderful conversation with Vic. Just, just such a just fun guy to be around. Uh, we had our first celebrity last season. We talked to the manufacturing millennial, Mr. Jake Hall. What a great time w- working with Jake, uh, getting to hear his story, how he's built the manufacturing millennial, what the purpose is, how it's impacting so many people out there, how he's connecting all these manufacturers out there to, to solutions that they never would have thought of before. So that was a great conversation with Jake. Then we got to talk to Mr. Brian Garland at Magic Leap. He's a he is a, a shop manager there and just a natural storyteller. Loves so many stories he had across the country uh, from the different roles. And then we had our first international guest. And that guest, you know, when we when we talked to Natalia, it was it was unreal. So we got connected through Mr. Uh, Tim Wilburn, TW Controls. He's like, you got to talk to this lady. So I found out she's in Denmark. So our initial phone call, we got to meet each other and talk to each other was a a Teams meeting. And she was on a train in Denmark. And I'm sitting there like, we're a podcast in the Southeast U.S. And talking to an automation engineer in Denmark, you know, the opportunities are endless, right? So we were able to connect, set up and record with her. And she shared her story, how she went from teaching elementary school in China, teaching English there, to an automation engineer. And the, the story about Legos and how she got connected with a, a Lego executive through a social media post, and just way impactful stuff there. So check that out. Follow her. She has a, a very active Instagram account as well. So that wraps up season five. So we're going into season six. Big stuff ahead. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be really fun. So a couple of ideas that are coming your way. One of them is a new machining technology that we never heard of. We hadn't talked about it on the show. That's going to be coming up, so be checking that out. We're not talking CNC or additive or anything like that. So we're just going to dangle that carrot out there. Be checking for that one to, be, to drop. And then one of my favorite episodes we've recorded of all time, we had a listener who's been there from the beginning of Eco SY. He's listened to every episode, and he is a controls engineer at a, at a plant in Virginia, and he was able to, to come on and share what exactly is a controls engineer, what do they do, the day in the life of, if you will. Wonderful uh, story there from him. I'm not going, I'm not going to put too much out there. You've got to wait and see and listen for yourself, but check that out. Great way to, to really get that inside look of what goes on inside a plant. So, and then as we prepare for the holidays, remember we're in the fall, we're getting ready to go to the holiday season. It is amongst us. Get ready. If you're not ready for Christmas, it is coming. We have what we're calling the holiday with the heroes. And we're going to start and go nine episodes in a row of nothing but hero conversation. Because we thought what better way to celebrate the holidays than listening and showcasing our heroes of industry that are out there. So great way to celebrate that so excited to for that to come out and that will take us right up to christmas and then that'll be the end of the season and then 
we're already planning for next year. So let's shift to a, on the personal side. So if you remember last season, I did the season recap and I was telling you about the, the newest member of our family that was due to arrive. So I want to check, check this out, everyone. So this is Lily Grace, and for the listeners out there who are uh, that are listening to audio only, go to our YouTube channel, check it out. You can see Miss Lily; she is wide open right now, so <laughs> she's taking her afternoon nap, which we enjoy. But she has been a wonderful blessing. She came to us on August twenty-first. Uh, she's doing great. She was a big girl, seven pounds ten ounces. Uh, she's doing wonderful. It's been a busy season of life here at the Granger household. Um, just got a new schedule, a new sleep schedule. So, you know, pardon the black underneath the eyes. That's just the way it is with a newborn. Our, our oldest daughters, they started playing volleyball. It's just there's, just there's not enough on the schedule. So that, you know, that, that's ramped up. So they're doing great there. Uh, and it's just a wonderful time to get outdoors. You know, fall is a wonderful time of year. Uh, looking forward to that, that North Carolina summer to go away and to get that humidity out of here. Looking forward to that cooler weather. Get outside with this little one, uh, with, with Chloe and Ava, with my, with my wife, Rebecca, and just enjoy the time outside. Hope you get to do that as well uh, as, you, as we're going into the fall. Just enjoy that time. Uh, and I also just want to say thank you. you know, there are so many podcasts that are out there that you could be listening to, but you take the time to listen to Eco Ask Why. We're, we're, we're humbled. We're blown away by the downloads. It's unbelievable uh, to, to, to see you know, the lives that this is, this is impacting, the people that we're helping, the connections that we're making. We're really working hard to bring you value. We, we hope that's coming across uh, in everything that we do. So, and I'm also hoping that there's a little entertainment along the way. So just, you know, whatever we can do to make it fun, we want to do. Thank you all for, for the support. Thank you all for uh, just for the reaching out, for the feedback that you're leaving on, on, the, on, on Apple, on iTunes. It's, it's wonderful. Remember to keep asking why, and we'll see you in Season 6. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit EcoSY.com. That's E-E-C-O-A-S-K-S-W-H-Y.com.